He called last summer, and during the conversation, he uh, talked about how tough this uh, Democratic primary might be if I got in. And he also said, you know, you've done well in the House, and uh, your military background can really make a mark there. And then brought up that during a conversation uh, Rahm Emanuel had brought up about a uh, presidential board of something, you know, if I were to stay in the House. And I almost interrupted the president and said, Mr. President, uh, I am going to decide to get in this or not, only depending upon what's good for uh, Pennsylvania's working families, not, uh, not an offer. But it was very and he said, and he said, uh, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> Were you aware that, that, that this could have been very much a, 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 at least a misdemeanor or perhaps even a felony? Oh, if I ever thought anything had been uh, wrong about this, I would have reported it. With Mr. Sassak, like you've consistently said that nothing inappropriate happened. Is it your contention that what President Clinton said, offering, you know, bringing up a job in relation to your Senate race, would you say that's not inappropriate? That's inappropriate or no? Well, I was very conscious that the Democratic establishment did not want me in the race, and I merely looked at this as just another effort by the Democratic establishment in Washington, D.C. not to have So was it race. inappropriate or was it no, not? No, President Clinton, there was nothing wrong that was done. We called for a FBI investigation because we would like it looked at as to who did what wrong. Obviously, if President Clinton offered it, President Clinton could not deliver on that offer. So if he offered it on behalf of Rahm Emanuel, which is what we heard here today, then Rahm did have the ability to see that it was delivered. Rahm is a government employee and would fall under at least the plain reading of 18 U.S.C. Uh, 600 and 595. And that's what we've been saying all along is it's for either the Attorney General using a special prosecutor or the FBI to do the independent investigation, get the on-the-record testimony from people such as President Clinton, now we discover, and make a decision. Uh, it's not for members of the House, Republican or Democrat, but it's also not for the White House to whitewash their own actions as they have done. Remember, what we got today was the president's attorney giving us his legal position on not binding on why he thinks he's outside of ethical or legal uh, boundaries, and yet any of you can read uh, the U.S. Code, and it looks like it reads right on the code, because the word position is in addition to a whole bunch of other items, so that it's very clear that even a board, a commission, uh, a position of honor, all qualify, even if there's no pay attached.